Hi, my name is Rob Daigle. I'd like to demonstrate a technique for wrapping blood pressure cuffs, particularly with these cuffs that tend to be sort of uniform for physiologic testing systems. Uh, this is portion of the blood pressure cuff. It contains the bladder. This has the hose coming out. So this is the part that we're going to put towards the skin. The other part of the cuff right here is just essentially the wrap uh, containing the Velcro. So uh, trying to get these cuffs wrapped snugly is the real trick to applying these uh, cuffs for physiologic testing for pressures and for pulse volume recordings. I start out by laying the bladder underneath the leg and then wrapping it around underneath towards the Achilles heel. And then I pull up on the remainder of the cuff in this fashion, kind of keeping the, the cuff snug. And then as I drape this part over, I keep pressure in my right hand uh, to keep it snug. And the goal is to try and get this Velcro to catch without having the cuff loosen up. I continue to wrap around, and here the Velcro catches. And I can continue the wrap. So that's a pretty snug wrap. Um, on the outer layer here, it's still just a little bit uh, overlapped loose. If I can get two fingers underneath and slide this around, then that's too loose on the proximal end of the cuff. I can also then rotate the cuff a little bit to get the hose away from the posterior tibial artery right here. Again, I'll demonstrate this on the, the left ankle. Again, I bring the bladder up underneath the leg, the bladder side. I wrap it all the way around up underneath, trying to keep it snug there. Pull up with my right hand and kind of lay the cuff back over in this fashion, keeping it snug and continue to wrap. So that's a pretty cuff, uh, tight uh, cuff wrap. So that'll make it easier for acquiring blood pressures and that we don't have to put as much air volume in the cuff. And then it also, it'll be a symmetrical tight wrap to acquire pulse volume recordings. I've already demonstrated how to wrap the ankle cuffs and that same technique applies for the brachial cuffs as well. Now for the calf and the thigh, I'll use a 12 centimeter cuff with cuff width here. And we'll use that similar technique, putting the bladder portion up towards the skin and wrapping it around underneath and then snugging it up so that we can get a good tight fit. I don't want the cuff to go up too high to O overlap the bony structures of the knee, so just a little bit down distal to that. Uh, for the thigh, I'll start by wrapping the upper thigh cuff as high as we can. Normally we just have the patient's underwear on here so that it wouldn't interfere with the shorts. Often the patients will try and lift their thigh here or lift their entire leg to help you, but uh, what happens is that you put the cuff on snugly when their leg is elevated and then they relax the leg and the cuff becomes loose because their muscles are relaxed. So try not to have them lift their leg to help you. Again, the same technique, trying to pull up snugly on this and then wrap it down again and seal it. So that's the upper thigh cuff on the four cuff method and we'll wrap one more 12 centimeter or if we can't fit that 12 centimeter cuff here up on this thigh, if there's not enough room, then we use a 10 centimeter cuff. We'll try the 12 centimeter cuff on the lower thigh, or sometimes referred to as the above knee. So this patient has long enough limbs so we can get uh, the four cuffs on one leg. High thigh, low thigh, above knee, or calf, and then the ankle cuff as well. Now there's one other option for the thigh cuff, and that's in the three cuff method, using one large thigh cuff. This is a 17 or an 18 centimeter cuff that's actually quite nicely designed in that it's conical in shape, so it fits and contours the thigh a little bit better than the straight 12 centimeter cuffs. We can see the conical shape here. And also this has two different Velcro straps, so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of cinch this larger cuff down. So this would be the three cuff technique, one thigh cuff, one calf, and one ankle cuff. Uh, one of the disadvantages of the large thigh cuff is it takes a lot of volume of air. So for segmental pressures, it, uh, it sometimes is prohibitively time consuming to inflate this one single thigh cuff, but it works quite well for pulse volume recordings. So uh, that ends the demonstration here on the appropriate way to wrap these cuffs. 
and uh, hopefully this will this demonstration will help you.